the following presentation of the Daily Mass is made possible by your generous donations to Catholic Television of San Antonio. The Archdiocese of San Antonio and CTSA invite you to join us in celebrating these sacred mysteries, listening to God's word, and partaking of spiritual communion. Welcome to the Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. On this lovely Saturday of the first uh, week of Ordinary Time, we remember how, for this new year, our compassion and our looking for each other is a must as part of our Christian life. As we gather for this Eucharist, let us call into mind the times that we had thought of the church as a small circle of best friends instead of a big community of all the wounded and the sinful. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have fully seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I had done and what I had failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy, and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, words O Lord, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, 
giving wisdom to the simple. Your, Your words, words, O Lord, Lord are, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your, Your words, words, O Lord, Lord are, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your the words, words, O Lord, Lord are, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your, Your words, words, O Lord, Lord are, are spirit and life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord sends me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the custom post. Jesus said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Because that's what he went, came into the world for. To participate, eating and, and, and having his body to all the people in need. We are the ones who forget about that. And we ask these questions sometimes, you know, about people that we do not like or they are not like us. Like, why, why are you with these people? Well, it's not about these people. It's about people. The kingdom of God present in our lives and compassion and mercy are precisely the awareness of not or not only talking about ourselves or thinking about ourselves as a small little group, but that everybody has been invited to it. Somebody called Pema Chodron says, compassion is not a relation between the healer and the wounded. It's a relation between equals. Only when we know well our own darkness, we can be present in the darkness of others. Compassion becomes real when we recognize our shared humanity. Compassion becomes real when we know and recognize our shared humanity. We are all invited because we are all tax collectors and sinners at the end. That's why we are here. So never to feel inferior because, because of our sins. Because Jesus is with us precisely to bring us the comfort 
and the healing that we need. So, with confidence, precisely say as the, as the responsorial psalm says, your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. Always, even in the midst of our darkness, we always have the opportunity of having the divine healer with us. Let us now bring our petitions before him. For those who do not know Christ, may the grace of God enable them to hear his message of mercy and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel alone, may the Lord's friendship lift them up and lead them to where they might experience welcome and fellowship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those discerning priesthood, that the Lord may bless them in their generous consideration of the call to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our faith community, may the word of God penetrate our hearts and lead us to repentance for our sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may the Lord's eternal light shine upon them and fill them with his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear these prayers we had brought before you and answer them in accordance with your divine providence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of the saints, for our good and good of all this holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon the light that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gustavo our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who had fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who had died in your mercy. Welcome then into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced into eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, and only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. My Jesus, I believe all that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already here, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Please help this very important ministry to continue by sending a donation to Catholic Television of San Antonio, 2718 West Woodlawn, San Antonio, Texas, 78228, or contribute online at ctsa.tv.